the young people at Frontlines face a variety of, of issues and challenges. Uh, the Western Mount Dennis and even York Southwestern is one of the poorest ridings, not just uh, in Toronto, but across Ontario. You have food insecurity, you have violence, you have low academic achievement. You're also discriminated by postal code. So even for young people trying to get employment, in different organizations, they are met up with discrimination. My name is Station Frederick, and I'm the Executive Director of Western Frontline Centre. I've been at Frontlines for the past four and a half years, and it's been a pleasure leading this charity in doing amazing work in the Western Mount Dennis communities, as well as supporting other young people across the GTA. I'm Letitia Taylor. I am the Children's Program Coordinator at Frontlines. Working at Frontlines is to provide for the community. Every day we try to find what can we do to support them the most. So we did the after school program and providing them with homework and cooking skills. And then it's like, okay, what's next? In the summer of 2018, um, I was looking for, you know, more, I guess, serious or more formal opportunities to give back. It made perfect sense to me that Frontlines was a place to be able to do that, especially in a community that, that has the needs that, that Weston, uh, Weston does. My name is uh, Asquith Allen. I am the chair of the board of directors here at uh, Frontlines. I was a shy kid, but then Frontlines outgrow me and put me in my full potential. I'm Tyshawn Graham. I work at Frontlines. My main like job here is like help out everyone that needs help because like everyone has their own station but i'm like that that little guy and that then helps everyone out if they need it but mostly i'm in the back doing care packages for other people that need to come and get the food um i help out in the cooking i help out in the main office western and york south western is one of the poorest ridings now when you put in covid you're seeing on the news how people in low-income marginalized and racialized communities have been severely impacted by COVID-19. In fact, at the beginning of the pandemic, Western had the second highest cases of COVID-19 in the GTA. And that's because of low income. My greatest worry is that there's a kid probably 12, 13, 14, who without the help of front lines wouldn't be able to in envision or access certain opportunities, that will change their life. We don't force them to do anything. We just say, okay, I know you have the tools. Now let's try to build on it so that you don't always need my help. So what can I do? How do you learn best? Are you a visual learner? Are you, do you need examples? So I always have a piece of paper and I do it with them. The mission is to address the pressing needs of children and youth of Western and surrounding communities. And we do that with a vision that our communities will be a place where our young people feel that their safety, that they experience true value and well-being. It's that envisioning that I have for front lines, but it's, it's the envisioning that I want the kids that we serve to have for themselves. A few youth, about 10, used to come in on Wednesday's night and we'll talk about violence in the community and how to stop it or how they feel about it. And then we'll make a meal related to whatever the topic was. So if we're talking about bullying, we had our meal was jerk chicken and we called it like, don't jerk me around. Resources are pretty much the bread and butter of any organization. It allows you to uh, to pay your staff who are you know looking after kids it allows you to uh, buy materials and and other you know things that support the programming that you do in in doing your your outreach you know definitely in the times that we're currently living in uh, consistency in resources is definitely key to be able to put a floor under an organization like like frontlines you can find your love language at frontlines whether it's acts of service or acts of giving. Join us today in loving our children.